Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a, a picture of someone into a, a, f a fire demon. So let's get started. I've got a picture of my girlfriend here and first thing I'm going to do is change the background colour to black. Make sure that's done. And then you're going to just on the top layer uh, come up to image and image adjustments and then desaturate and then come up again to image adjustments and this time invert and that gives us a, a photographic uh, look. Uh, so the next thing we do is right click here and duplicate the layer and OK that and then you're going to go up to filter and find stylize and then find edges and that finds the, the edges for us and then you can come up to image adjustments and invert this and that gives us a nice black background outline there. So really that's what we're we're looking for. So now if you come to the blend option and pick hard light, that just gives us a bit of a different bit of a different uh look there. And uh once you've once you've done that uh duplicate the, the layer. So just right click and duplicate layer again. And there we go, we're really getting a really dark effect. Uh, and this time you go to blend again and go to screen uh, and that gives us that gives us quite a, a good look with the with the white. Now the next thing you're gonna do is find a picture of a flame. So we've got one here and I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to paste it uh, into into this picture here. Now, the next thing I'm going to actually do as well is I'm going to actually create a a group uh, for for this layer, and we're going to actually use uh, the group. I'm going to paste the uh, paste this layer quite a few times. So let's get let's get started with this. So we're going to just turn the the flame first of all uh, and just look for where we're going to apply it. I'm going to apply it to this section over here and you're going to come up and select the blending option and choose where are we? Screen. Where are we? There we are there. Screen. Now that gives us it takes away the black background and gives us a nice flame there so what you're going to do is just line up where the the flame is and just use the flame to build up a uh, build up a, a set of flames and you're going to do quite quite a lot of this so again I'm just going to paste another one go to screen turn it a bit again Okay. So same again. Paste the flame, move it around. And depending on your picture you can come up and use the edit and the transform tool and you can use the warp and the perspective tool to to change it and give the the effect uh, a bit of a difference. Depending on where the where your hair is, uh, but the easiest way is to just uh, keep adding the the layers up and just build the layers up and just be careful that you don't uh, over overshoot the face outline like we have here. You don't want to go too far there. So I'm just going to continue on doing this and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so here I am. I'm just a bit further in. I've 
pasted quite a few layers and I just wanted to show you just how many layers we've got. We've got sort of up to up to 16 layers here. So that's why we've put the group in just so it's a bit easier to organise. So the other thing as well is that I've went a bit over the edges with some of them. Now that's going to be okay because we're going to come back uh, and just rub, rub those out later on. Uh, but as you can see we're starting to get a nice effect here so just can I'm just going to continue on with that and just keep adding adding some more flames and come round the the other side okay so here we are with all our finishing uh, layers done I've done 37 layers and they've all just been a mix of being pulled in different directions some of them being slightly warped and the perspective change and just a lot of sort of inconsistencies just to give the, the flames sort of quite a, a natural uh, a natural feel. So there we go, we've got all our layers there in our group. And all you're gonna do now is just merge all those layers. So just select down and just right click and uh, merge layers. So there we should have a nice nice effect there. Now what you're going to do now is you're going to add uh, another layer and you're going to come back and take the the original flame and just copy that and paste that into this uh, new layer here. And then you're going to just pull that across all of the, the body area. Just apply that and then pull that down so that's underneath uh, whoop, just pull that into the group there yeah, pull that down so it's just underneath the group and then come up to filter and blur and then Gaussian blur and that should give us a nice let's see just a nice effect with the with the flame there and we should actually be able to pull that up there now. Oh, fuck. Screen, there we go. There we go, apply the, the screen. So that was that was what I didn't do there, but you've got to apply the the screen to allow that to to give you an effect. So there we go, let's let's just come back to our blur again. And now that we can see the face, we can just play around a bit with the with the effect. So I'm going to go for for that one. So the next thing we have to fix is, as you can see, all of the uh, all of the flame is sort of given. It's got the black background here, so uh, you have to go around and just use the the background eraser uh, and just go around and raise out the the background for whoop, for that let's see just go around and I'm just going to do this quite quick uh, you want to take your your time a bit more Some of the some of the white bits of the hair should start to to flow through, but that's okay. We're going to fix that fix that just in a wee minute. as well you should you should be able to clean up all these uh, lines here if you come to the normal normal erase tool and just come in with the 
a small brush and you can just start to sort of brush round the, the area of our face here and just lighten up lighten up the round our forehead and again we're going to expose some of the, the white hair but that's okay we're going to fix that just in a just in a moment just get rid of some of this section here where it's overlapped on our body some of the these areas here so there we go that's starting to look okay so yeah now to just sort of add on and fix the the effect with the in the flames and as you can see we've got lots of crisscross lines here where we've got our layers so just click on the smudge tool and you just want to play around and move uh, the move the fire and the, the flame sort of in different directions and for the parts close to our face you just want to smudge it in and push it in quite close just run around right up to the, the edge of where our where our face is. As you can see if there's any parts where the lines are, are quite obvious you can pull and push those areas there. And you can as well just try and use the groove of the hair as well to to follow where the where the flames are. So I'm just trying to do this quite quick but you can you can take your your time with it. And you just want to push and pull in both directions so that you, you take care of the inconsistencies with the with the lines and it's really easy to to blend those lines in and change them and just make them look a bit different. So I'm just going to pause that and I'll finish off pushing and pulling. So here we are, I'm just working my way around still, uh, just smudging the areas around and I've been going around the, the outside edges as well and just adding little curves in some of the areas uh, just to, to change the direction of the flame a bit. So the other thing I should have pointed out as well is you want to make sure that your strength for the smudge tool is, is quite low because it can can give it sort of too much of an effect so you just want to make sure you've got that round about sort of 25 and, uh, and then you can just push and pull sort of everywhere you want and, uh, okay let's see so that's starting to look much better now we've got it really looks like the hair uh, or the, the flames are really flowing out from from where our hair is so yeah, you can go on and, and do what you want to uh, to this picture now, and you can adjust the face and draw in draw in a bit more, or even if you want, you can take uh, take some of the flame. Let's see. Let's use the what the spherical. Use some of the, the flame there and just make a just make a nice effect on our eyes. So 
just going to merge those two layers together there and then you can just uh, let's see do we can come up to the blending options and we can just drop in some some shadow into the eyes just to add a bit of depth there Let's see put some drop shadow just around the edges as well there just to darken darken it up and just make it look a bit deeper with some inner glow as well. So yeah, there you go, you can play around and change the effects as you want and see how you get on. And there we go, there's our scary fire demon. Hope you like that.